Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick colour and chat. I'm going to colour in a Sun and Moon Mandala colour book by Camellia Angel Cobra. So I'll just find the next page. I think is this one. And um, we're just going to um, colour in this one uh, today as much as we can. Um, just because I don't... I've hurt my thumb. <laughs> I've, I've got a cut on my thumb. I caught it in a bolt, which is very clever of me, I, I can assure you. Not. And uh, so, yes. Oh, I've got a joke in there yet, I have. Oh, that's nice. Right. So, yes, how are you? Hope you're all well. I'm fine, apart from hurting my thumb today. Um, now, why haven't I done a colour and chat? Well, yeah, that is a good question. Um, mainly just simply because I have been very busy sorting stuff out and I've just not been in a mood to colour. I wouldn't say it was a colouring funk. Oh, gosh, that hurts. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this for because it's actually hurting my thumb because it's actually, I've actually pulled the skin off my thumb. Um, I just haven't felt like colouring. I've been reading. I've been taking photo film photographs, sorting out my film camera equipment and my darkroom stuff for developing rolls of films. I've been testing other cameras I've got up in the attic that I bought to resale. Um... I think it's not working. I'm literally just, I'm not going to even try and sell it for spares and repairs. It is literally just going in the bin, which is fine by me. So yeah, bin, uh, oh, that's so sore. Work's been very busy. It's been beautiful. Today's the first day that's been overcast for a while. We could use a bit of rain. Because um, sadly, we've had a few grass fires locally in the last few days. Um up on the mountain just up the road Machen um, massive massive fire they've been trying to put it out since I think it was Saturday Friday or Saturday um, someone up there was a um, group of people I don't know whether they were men or women girls or boys drinking and starting fires for the fun of it which is stupid if you watch the weekly vlog you know I've talked about that um, we've had the, the helicopter out dropping water on it for the last uh, I, I know that they were doing it Saturday and they were still doing it this morning and it, this is being filmed on Tuesday night so it's been bad the whole of the mountain is black the side we're on and the last thing I heard before the helicopter stopped so I'm assuming that's because they've managed to get it out or under control and don't need the chopper anymore uh, it was heading towards Machen village on the other side so hopefully everybody over there is safe and well and not in any danger and their property is all right because your home is your, your castle it's where you have your, your life and your memories um, yeah so that's been going on uh, we've been okay uh, we actually went to the pub on on monday uh, it was the first day of pubs being able to serve alcohol outside in the uk in well in in wales it's been a while for england but wales it was today well it was monday sorry i did and so myself and jennifer and my dad uh, went up to the pub for a drink poor old paul was stuck in the house working I can't do anything about that. It was Jennifer's idea, so we went. I'm, say, I'm saying it's Jennifer's idea, whether it is or not, of course. Because she's like, you know, she's an alcoholic. No, she's not really. She she likes the social aspect, I think. She's like seeing the people. She loves watching different people, what's going on, and the animals, the dogs and stuff. So this is hurting my hand quite badly. Not my hand so much as my thumb. It's very, very painful. So, so I thought I'd do something like this. I probably won't finish it there, I'll probably finish it off on another day, but I thought we'll do this and then I'll, I'll you know, we can see how it goes. But yeah, it's quite painful, so. Anyway, how are you all? What are you colouring? Are you having fun? Are you looking forward to the end of the month run of videos? So from that I've got come in, what have I got coming? I've got obviously my completed pages not as many this month like i said i haven't been in the mood for coloring all the time i have been coloring don't get me wrong 
but I haven't been spending hours and hours, it might be a few minutes here or there. Um, so I've got that, I've got my massive uh, book haul, there's a few supplies but not many. Um, I don't really need any supplies at the moment so I'm not going to be buying any. Um, I don't need any books either but that doesn't stop me. <laughs> um, so there's my massive colouring book haul and a few supplies coming. Then um, I've got my uh, reading wrap up for the month. I'm on 20 odd books at the moment. I can't remember how many without looking at my book and I don't even know where that's gone. I've got a book where about the order on the shelf. It's 20 odd. Again, a lot of these are the cozy mysteries, Kindle books, ebooks. I just find it quick and easy to read those because I can I can have Jennifer sitting on me watching TV while I read if I want to. Now today I didn't do that. I actually watched videos on my phone instead of uh, reading for a change because I was looking something up on how to do something because it's been so long since I've actually done it I can't remember how to do it so um on top of that I've got after that I've got my huge Jack the Ripper book haul as well that's coming up soon I haven't filmed these yet but uh I'm going to be spending the next few days filming those as well as trying to get some listings done on eBay. That's tomorrow afternoon's job. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's all good. It's all, all getting there slowly. I've even got a TBR for me. Um, video coming. Uh, um, I've got to pull the books I'm going to be reading on that. Uh, yeah, so I've got that coming as well. So I'll be getting that pile of books ready soon. And these are physical books, not ebooks. And we'll see how we do. And anything I don't read will roll over into June. Which, of course, is my favourite month because hey, I get to go on holiday. Hey, and it's my birthday at the end. Oh, yeah. You think at my age I've had enough of birthdays, but I still get excited. I still like getting, you know, having a meal out and little gifts and they are only little gifts I don't need big things if I might be I might be to get one colouring book <laughs> I'm not gonna lie from my collection so because next month I am gonna have I am on a ban pretty much so the only books I'll be having are the ones I get normally which are like the colour in heaven and the relax with art um I've got I've got some on pre-order. I don't know if they're coming out next month, but if they are, they'll be in that haul. But I might not haul until the end of June. But we'll we'll have to wait and see. I do plan on taking my colouring on holiday with me. Because let's be honest, it's gotta be done. You know, in the evening when Jennifer's asleep in bed, I do like to sometimes sit in colour, watch a bit of TV. We'll still have TV in the caravan. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully things will be opened a bit more by then. And I'm hoping it don't go to pot like it did last year. So I'm really hopeful that I'm actually getting it. I don't care if, if, if the restaurant's not open properly or you have to book the restaurant. I don't care if the pool's not open. I can sit on the beach and paddle in the waves. I just want to get away and see something different. And that's what it is. You just want to get away and see something different, don't you? So. Yeah. There will be a vlog when I'm there. I can't remember what day I'm going away, but I will be vlogging. It'll be a weekly vlog. I'm not going to do daily ones like I have done in the past. Though there might be separate vlogs for like, if we go somewhere like uh, Dinosaur Park, Volley Farm. So, yeah, so there'll be separate vlogs for that. But I'll have to, I'm going to have to sort my drawers out and find all my memory cards. So I've got one for the weekly vlog one for individual vlogs and so on and so on because they'll get confusing otherwise oh but it's very hard to pick up these pens I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> it's very 
really is hard to pick up these pens with this plaster on my thumb. It's so uncomfortable. It really, really is. It's horrible. It is horrible. I'm just doing my own thing on this, I know. Because I want to. Sometimes you do. You, you think I want to do it like this. God, oh, I tell you, my blinking hand. Yeah, I'm really enjoying getting back into the cameras and sorting through the ones that I bought from the auction for the sale even though I haven't um, um, listed any, anything that I've sorted through I've, I've got a few cameras up here, I think there's one, two, three, four, possibly five definitely four, I've thrown a few away and some flashes away, there's one there and that I out of the four film four cameras I had I, I, that I've got here to finish testing, I've got three rolls of film. One's not complete, so I'm going to take that out and finish myself. Um, and the other one was stuck because it had almost pulled it out of the camera. The strange thing is, I was thinking, is the camera working? Because the film appears to be stuck. I will have lost a few images on that found film because it was at the end. Um, and when I actually thought, oh, hang on, it looks like it's trying to pull, it's tried to pull the film out of the canister. I pushed the film back in and suddenly it just started putting it back in. It, it wound the film properly. So that was good. So I will, I need to get, uh, get that tested properly. And then it, it seemed to be working. So I'll, I'll have to put a, I'll put a roll of film in it either colour or black and white and shoot it off, put a lens on it because they're EOS lenses so I can use the ones I've got they won't be brilliant but I can and then I can scan them I can even put uh, images on the uh, eBay list in there if I've taken pictures um, myself so I do take my time on these. I really enjoy this book. I love this book a heck of a lot. So because it's a sun, I'm not going to give her a pink mouth. And she will have red lips and, and red cheeks and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do most of it as a proper sun. That includes the inside of the eyes. So. so I hope you guys are all right and that you... Lives are slowly getting back to normal. I mean, India's the worst at the moment. It's terrible what's happening over there. They're really struggling. Um, but it's nice to be, hopefully, coming out of this. Although Drakeford, who's the current um, head of the Senate, First Minister for Wales, has said he's not ruling out any further lockdowns but there is an election so <laughs> he might not be in power he said he was going to retire at the end of the, the uh, uh, um, Senate election anyway so <laughs> just deciding what colours to use so yeah These are the link shines, obviously. I have got some other pens here as well because I'm working through all my glitter gels to try and use up the almost completely finished ones, so. Yeah. I might get a pattern book out and just do, pick a pattern and just do it using each pen in the not the link shine and just grab the glitters in all in like you know random pattern like we did before once this one's nearly empty i've had a problem with some of the orange ones i bought in the big pack they've just 
work for a bit and then they stop. So first time I've had that problem with this, but they like they don't cost three pound a packet for ten pence, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's just annoying because I might run out of orange. I'll we'll have to wait and see. I just held that pen in such a way it really hurt my thumb. I've taken the skin off the top of the thumb so it's really... Oh, it was bleeding for ages. I think it stopped now, but oh, there's a bit of a chunk out of my finger. It's not good. everywhere here so <laughs> like I said it's only been a quick one while we do a bit of this because I just wanted to catch up with you guys because like I said I just haven't been in a colouring mood so I, like I said I have been colouring I coloured a pattern last night um, but generally it's just been I've just been in a mood for watching YouTube videos I'm going to do that when I finish filming tonight and then I'm going to lovely have um oops made a bit of a mess of that didn't we and I might uh, I'm gonna try and sort out my I've got a stack of pages under the on the bookcase and it's a right mess and I'm gonna try and sort that out but I can do that while I'm watching videos on YouTube there we go. I, I really love this book I think this is absolutely fantastic I think it's beautiful use this colour now which is a light, lighter gold colour from a different brand this is Arteza normally I don't mix them but I am today because I feel like it I mean it's taken me all this time just to do the face and I haven't finished yet and we're on 17 minutes nearly 18 minutes which is which is fine I don't mind I take my time and if you want to see me finish this one yet just let me know if you want to see me do it because I love colouring in this book I think this book, this book is probably one of the first I finished it's Sun and Moon Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cove and it's, I don't know how many pictures are in it does it say doesn't say probably says somewhere and I try to do like one a month and I've done quite a few in this but I've used the glitter gel pens on every single page just because I think it looks nice on the uh, on it I think it looks lovely I do like this book I think this is one of my favorites of hers I think and I've got quite a few of them now I've, there's still loads I haven't got and I'm slowly picking them up um, a bit at a time and I love them all but this is my favorite one and this is I think the one I've done the most out of to be fair so I can't be honest I really love this book sometimes we film so much and we, we buy so much that you just do need to take a break from time to time obviously when I'm away I won't have the internet other than on my wi-fi on my phone so I'll only have scheduled videos going up so there will be stuff going up because I'm not going to tell you when I'm actually going away for security reasons 
but and there will be stuff being scheduled and I will have access to YouTube because I will have it on my phone because I got like 10 gig of data and I never use it so I know I'll be able to um I still haven't done that for work I've got to do it so I just thought something I've got to do for work and I haven't done it so I must get on with it tomorrow yeah so I'll still be able to answer your comments and things it's just I won't be at home but you'll know that when I get back so that's the end of that pen all right put that one in a bin i don't save my pens to show you at the end of the month i don't know why people do are you are, are people really interested in that I, I i don't i just skip past that bit i'll be honest so is it what is the reason for it i, I don't know I, I just don't do it I, I just throw them out i don't want the rubbish hanging around the house if they can be recycled they go straight in the recycling so if they can't which is a shame because like, I would prefer to get everything recycled I certainly try to recycle everything I can needless to say our recycling bin is filled every week So if I ever do finish a book, I will do a complete flip through of it. I just can't see me doing it. And if it's a book that's got two pages, uh, two copies of each one, I'll just uh, finish the first lot and, and show you those. Then they can go back on, on the shelf. Although some of them will be going for Jennifer when she's a bit older, if she wants them. Because I don't know if she's going to be into colouring when she gets, you know, a bit older. She likes doing it now because she copies what Mummy does. She likes to copy her mummy, which is nice. But I'll have to see how she goes. If she wants them, she can have them then finish them off. And what I might do then is just uh, cut them in, cut them up and put the pictures in a folder. Not all of them will be like that, but the Jade Summer ones will. Some of the Hannah Lynn if she wants them. I don't know about them. I might want to keep them and do them again for myself. So, Especially ones where you've got the harder version and the, uh, the easier version. Oh yeah, I quite like that idea. So, who knows? We will have to find out, so. Mm. 23 minutes so far, <laughs> just colouring this one picture. It's like, seriously, aren't you crazy? It's a weird picture this bit but yeah I like this picture I like doing these yeah that's fine oh, God. yeah sometimes you feel I, I am and I am now feeling so so tired I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, my eyes are drooping now, so I can't be doing much longer. I know it's not that late, but oh my gosh, I am so tired. It's awful. And it's getting very warm here with this light on, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh yeah, my eyes are really struggling now. I mean, I've been up since 6-ish a.m. It is now, I have no idea what the time is, but it's gone. I don't even know where my phone is, to be fair. Oh, it is here, but the battery's dying, so I might not be able to tell you. That is 23 minutes past 9. Um, but I didn't sleep very well last night because Jennifer, she went to bed fine, and then she fell out of bed. I do it, I do it as well, so I got me as I've rolled out of bed and I'm like, whoa. Um, so she cried and I went in. I said, did you fall out of bed? And she's like, yeah. She, I said, you hurt something? She said, my knee. Uh, so I rubbed her knee better, gave her a color, cuddle. I said, are you ready for bed? And she went, yeah. Put her back into bed and she snuggled down. And 10 minutes later, she was calling for me again. So again, cuddled her, rubbed her knee, popped her back and she went to sleep. This was about... 12 o'clock-ish, half 12, oops, put it down. And then the next thing I know, at half past one, she starts screaming her head off, and I'm like, what on earth is going on? And she was having night terrors because her sleep had been broken by falling out of bed. I think that's the only reason I could think she would have one. Um, so first of all, I thought, oh, is she crying? Has she had a nightmare and is she awake? Because she talks as well when she's having nightmares. As they do, they talk, they babble. I, but I couldn't really hear what she was saying, so I thought I'd better go and check and make sure she's all right. So I went into her room. Uh, well, I, I stuck my head around the door. And I could see that she was asleep, thrashing about and, and crying and screaming. She wasn't near the edge of the bed, so I thought she's all right, she's safe. And then I went, I thought, oh, and I need the loo now. So I, I went down to the toilet. <laughs> Because, you know, you need to go, you need to go. Um, went to Lou, came back up. She was still screaming. Checked on again. She was right up against... Well, not right up against, but she was right... She was on the wall by the... The side of the bed by the wall. So I knew she wasn't going to fall out. She could have smacked herself quite hard, but she didn't. And I came back into the room and listened to her scream for the next 40 minutes. To change the battery, I won't be long. Okay, fresh batteries. I will have to charge up the other two. I've got one more left after this one. I'll do another 10 minutes or so before uh, I pass out and go to bed. Yeah, so. But Jennifer was alright this morning. She got up fine, went to nursery, happy as, happy as a clam, as I say. And she's fine. And she went to bed fine. It's all, it's all fine. Just need to um, crack on. So yeah, it's a massive book haul. I have no idea how many books there are in it. There's more than fifteen. I know that more than twenty. It might be. I don't know. Because I got my desk, and if you want me to show you. Um, my colouring space and my desk I'm quite happy to show you um, I don't do all my colouring at the desk I just where I do my filming uh, I, I colour wherever I can you know so sometimes if I'm upstairs it'll be in bed if I'm wanting to watch YouTube like if I'm doing watercolours or anything like this it's at the desk I always use it for, also use it for my work if I'm downstairs, I just colour with a tray on my lap. I'll colour outside on the table, but at, um, generally most of the colouring is done upstairs in this room. I, I mean, I can't do as much as I would like with Jennifer around because, you know, she just wants to play, which is understandable, she's a child. Um, although if we go and sit in the garden and I've got a book with me, she'll quite happily sit there with her colouring books and colour, though sometimes she wants me to help her colour and we sit there and we, we colour in one of her books. So she's got Jade Summer Animals for Toddlers and uh, we colour in that together. Among others, she's got lots of other books as well, but that's one we take out in the garden a lot. So, so usually I have a bag with um, a load of colouring stuff in it for me to take down into the garden or today wasn't so nice so we didn't spend as much time out there so I just uh, I just took a book down to colour in um, I think I coloured a, f a little bit for about five minutes and that was it uh, and, and the uh, hoo-hoo markers which I like 
using. I like all my colouring supplies. I'm not going over, out of the way to buy any for a bit because I've got so many that I would like to save up and get the whole vines from Amazon Japan. But it will have to see. I don't need them. They are something I want, but they're very expensive, so I've got to be careful. I want to start saving money anyway. I've got enough books, so it's, I mean, I do need to still get Luna. I haven't got it yet. Um, but it is just one of those things where you, you think, I need this, I want this, and you're like, do I need it? Do I want it? Or is it just because I've seen it on somebody else's channel? Well, yeah, maybe it is, but that doesn't mean to say I don't like the pictures and I don't want them, because, you know, I do. <laughs> so. Oh, it's weird, this is, you know. I dread to think how many colouring books I've got now. It's got to be nearly 300 or over 300. And I know there's people with more than I've got. And I don't have a problem with that. I think it's great if, if you like colouring like we do then why not why not uh, it, it's collecting I'm, I mean I've got too much in my hoard that I haven't coloured so I do need to get back to trying to colour in uh, um, more books that I buy that's my plan I need to colour in more books than I buy now obviously more new books than I buy that's not happened this month because I had my bonus and I did spend a hundred pound of it on just colouring books this is why I've got a huge stack. On top of that I've got my PDS from Ava Brown because I'm on the launch team and I'm still colouring them. I'm still enjoying them. If it got to a point where I wasn't enjoying them I wouldn't do it. I'd step back and let somebody else have a go. But at the moment I'm really enjoying them. The, the latest book out is really sweet which you'll see in the haul. Because um, those ones I will show you. Um, I'm happy to. And I do colour in them and obviously they, they come up in my completed pages at the end of the month so yeah I do like these so we're doing okay I, I'm enjoying myself yeah I really am it might not sound like it but I really am I love my colouring I'm just so tired I've been really drained this week. I think it's because I'm doing so much trying to sort out my eBay stuff. I mean, like Sunday, I was sorting out my shed. I was in there for a good hour just sorting stuff out, throwing stuff away, picking stuff to chest, which I've been doing, um, tidying up generally. It's a lot tidier now. It's a lot more organised. I had um, boxes in there that were uh, that I get from Amazon. I, I keep a lot of my Amazon boxes because they're great for uh, repurposing and reusing and that's a form of recycling which I like and I will recycle any box I get and reuse it and then what the other person does to it's up to them and I mean it does not bother me if something comes in a recycled box uh, at all I'm happy to to see people are trying to recycle um package I use tends to be recycled anyway and the, the poly bags I use are recyclable if you take them to a drop-off point. So, for instance, my Morrison's, my local Morrison's has a plastic bag drop-off point where you can drop them off. If you so wish. Now, that's only up the road. And I usually go there to get petrol, or diesel now, or I go there to get, because McDonald's is next door, and Jennifer likes some McDonald's every now and again. So, we'll go there. So we can always pop in and do a bag drop off. Same as with all the dead batteries from the cameras. Um, obviously I use up a lot of batteries when I'm photographing things um, in various cameras. Obviously the digital ones are all uh, rechargeable but and I do have some rechargeable batteries but some of them you can't get as rechargeables. Uh, so at Lidl's they have a battery drop off point where you drop off all your batteries and somebody comes and takes them away and they dispose of them in the correct manner. At least I hope they do. So um, we have a box, um, a, a yellow box kept on top of a cupboard out of Jennifer's reach and it literally says on it dead batteries. I've actually got three to go on there 
these button batteries which I, I don't like having around because they're too easy for somebody to somebody small to pick up and swallow um, but they're out of her reach and they go into the button box the dead battery box and it's out the way and then when it's nearly full I say right we'll take the batteries down now and we pop them into the uh, Lidl's battery recycling pots and tubs so we're very very do try and recycle as much as we can and reuse. If I get a box, even if it's only a box that's been reused, if it's still in good enough condition to be used again, I'll use it again. I will use it again. I am not, I'm not afraid of doing that at all, no. Not at all. Because If it can be reused, we should reuse things. We've become too much of a throwaway society. And I love it when I buy clothes for Jennifer and it says on the label, I used to be a plastic bottle. To see that a plastic bottle has been recycled into clothing is amazing. And things like that. And I donate her clothes to charity. I don't bother selling children's clothes because there's no money in it. Well, there's not much money in it. But I donate them to charity or I take them to the nursery and the nursery have them. There's always somebody that needs children's clothing, so. And I'm happy to do that. So next we want pink. Pink and red. So, yeah, it's, it's um, we'll do the odd ones on their own pink. So this, this is taking, it is going to take a while because we're on oh, 30 minutes now. I'll do a bit, little bit. I'll just do around here. And, uh, I'll stop soon because I, I really am tired. So, like I said, I do apologise that I haven't um, done one for a while. I haven't been 100% since the COVID vaccine, to be honest. I've been really tired since I had it. Um, I am trying to do more around the house, like, you know, keeping things organised and tidy. The living room is in a right mess. Every time I put something away, Jennifer gets it back out again. But uh, that's my job for tomorrow, is to have a go at that, because... Uh, trying to tidy it up a bit and keep it tidy get some more of her toys sorted she can't play with all of her toys because they're not all in the same room so I want to, I do want to get them in and I mean to do it so they're in the, the hallway so I'm going to try and do that tomorrow there we go bless her up <laughs> so I'm singing a theme song to one of her favourite programmes Waffle the Wonder Dog. We always sing that. If she's feeling a bit down, I start singing that to her and it cheers her up nowhere and she starts laughing and giggling and, and singing along. So to me it's it's brilliant, so I do love this book. I, I said it's one of my favourites. I love all things to do with um, not astronomy, but sun, moon, and stars designs. I think they look fantastic, and I love anything to do with um, mystical stuff and Celtic designs. And that's probably something to do with growing up in Wales, I can imagine. So I am just going to do the rest of this bit red. And then I'm going to call it a night, and I know we haven't done much. Uh, but that's okay. I'm happy with it. It looks nice so far. I like I said, I like to use these link shines and the gel pens in this uh, book. But uh, I'm quite happy to finish this on camera. If you want me to, just let me know in the comments if you've liked this one or 
you know I, I would I would love to do a full picture in one go like we did with the um, steampunk special but I'm just far too tired um, yeah so the next Colour in Heaven special, or not special, collection is out tomorrow and it's Holly Hobby. I haven't ordered it yet but I will be ordering it. So again that will be one of the few books that I get in May because it's not going to arrive before um, May the 1st which is on Saturday. I just haven't got around to it. I'll probably order it first thing in the morning. So. So uh, yeah, because I haven't bought one of those for a long time because it's not been anything I've been interested in. But uh, this one I'm I'm quite looking forward to. I really wish they'd do something like strawberry shortcake. I remember that when I was a kid. I had a strawberry shortcake doll. And my brother hated it. He hated the smell. <laughs> he hated the smell of it. Well, that is all I'm going to do for tonight because we have actually been going nearly 40 minutes, believe it or not. Um, so I'm just going to say about so we still got all that to do so if you and I might even um, do the background as well behind the, the, the this bit so it's not just white there's a bit but not the whole page I've done that before and it takes up a lot of ink I think I've done it on one in here actually have I? and I've done it on one of them might not be this but it might be different but then I can't look Yeah, I mean I did it with that one and that took up like two and a half black pens and you can still see those gaps in it where I've missed bits. So I wouldn't do the whole page but I'd just take it across there and make it square. Um, but I'll, I'll decide. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should we continue this on camera or shall I just finish it off camera and do something else next time? I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Bye now.